Hello YouTube. I wanted to go over this carport that I got from Harbor Freight. Now this is not going to be a review. You can get lots of those on the internet. What I'm going to talk about is how to modify this. Um, by design, this thing is only really going to last one, maybe two seasons. It's just designed to fail. And so I want to show you a few things that I did and that I'm going to do in this video to show you how I'm improving that lifespan. By default, this is 10 foot wide and 20 foot long. But if you notice, there's only one, two, and three main supports. That leaves this span. That's a 10 foot span over there as well. It's, that's, that's a lot of weight, especially you get some bad snow or rain on here. Those, they're just gonna bend. So what I did is, if you can check this out, is at every major intersection, I actually cut a piece of PVC and then I put a screw in there. That's just a standard screw that you put in for uh, gutters and downspouts. It's a self-tapping screw, three-quarter inch. Uh, I put them in at every joint and also on the trusses. Uh, those are just two spans, uh, two pieces, because the way this is built, um, uh, th this part right here is actually three pieces and are different lengths. So. Uh, I put two pieces at each joint. Now you're probably thinking, well, why not make one piece of PVC? And that would really make that stronger. You're absolutely right, it would have. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to create uh, another uh, main span here uh, and, and come right up in the middle. And so I'll have, I'll have one, two in the middle here, three, another four in the middle there, and then five. So it, it'll be much stronger. And I'll also add trusses up here uh, and this will really increase the longevity of this carport um, the other thing that you absolutely must do is you've got to get yourself some good anchors uh, these are the dog run anchors that you would get at your local hobby shop or hardware store um, they're the corkscrew kind they go right into the ground and they are much much better than the anchors that come with this kit uh, it comes with the kit it's just a simple piece of rebar it's only uh, about 10 inches long and it just doesn't uh, go into the ground deep enough to really support it so what I'm going to do is uh, go ahead and get started here and show you how I'm going to have these other supports all right so I have my tablet up here so hopefully you guys can hear me all right so what I did I don't know if you could see this but I took uh, an inch and a quarter of PVC and I made a few of those and what this is going to do is going to come over and cover and hide this this seam that's right here problem is once I put over this PVC I won't know where to put my screw in because this is a slip joint, a friction joint. So I'm gonna to need to put a screw, but I won't know where to put it. So I made a template here with this seam. So what I'll do is put two of these next to each other. And what this does, this is a perfect fit. This slides right on. And to help out, I cut some WD-40. All you need is a rubber mallet to help put this in.
So now, that is lined it up, and notice the seam is there. So I have to go down just a little further. Not too much. That's good enough. And now what I'm doing, is I have these uh, eight and three quarters, number eight and three quarter self-tapping threads. Make sure that it's right there. And that's how I'm going to make all these reinforced. Okay, so I just finished making the four truss supports here, and that's what these look like. And how I'm gonna mount everything to the frame is I'm gonna use that little bracket right there. And what it is, is these brace supports that you put on chain link fence. Now, I got the one and three eighths. They make a larger one, one and five eighths, uh, but they didn't have that in stock, so I used this. And the problem is, you notice that bolt is much larger than the one they give you. You use the one they give you, it's not going to be long enough uh, with these tubes. So I just went out and I bought the two and a half inch um, galvanized um, length uh, carriage bolts. And those work perfectly. So I'm going to go ahead and mount everything and uh, show you the end result. Okay, so here is the finished product. I now have five downwards, downward supports and one, two, three, four, five trusses total. Here's what they look like. They go in really nice and easy and strong. Here's the setup over here. One thing I do want to point out is when you're putting this up, if you decide to screw in your joints, make sure you have your screw heads facing away from the roof, the tarp cover, because over time it will puncture right through and you can't get these replaced easily. So that's it. Um, enjoy. I'm hoping this will last me at least two to three years.